Hi friends, my mic was muted and I caught it just in time. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in friends, welcome in. Oh my goodness, Catherine, Christian, Mimi, Terry, or Mercedes. What does lurking mean? Lurking means that you're watching and not chatting. So you're just hanging out, but you're not really chatting in the chats. Famous Crow, hello. Uh, Elena, Jerusalem, TJ, hello, hello, hello. Hannah, Pixel, Jamie, Coma, hello everyone. Little Flower, so good to see you. Hi, my friends, Hippie, Pixel. Oh, Pixel, I think I said hey, but hey again. Ray, hello, welcome in. Monstrous, Anna, the internet mama, Valkyrie. Hello, hello, hello. How's our Thursday? Navea, Maddie, hello. Crystal, welcome in. Hi, my friends. Bella, hello, I didn't know. I don't know what this game is about. Bella, you don't know what this game is about. We, I mean, we can fill you in. Look, first look, we'll take a first look today. It's Tequila Thursday, send me the whole bottle. Y'all, listen, listen, I know I'm always bringing the upbeat en energy or trying to, but I am dead tired, wiped out. Exhausted, if you will. Barely functioning. Haven't spoken a word in the last three hours. Struggling, dragging. My feet, I don't know how they're still moving. My mouth, I don't know how it's moving, but here we are. Steph, hello, welcome in. How are you? <laughs> Life. It's because, I don't know, is it because it's Thursday or what? Well, I know what my issue is. I can tell y'all. This young man, baby B, last night, I have to tell you guys the story because this is what us moms go through. And at this point, I think my house is haunted. Either my house is haunted or baby B has the powers to move objects because I wake up because I hear some kind of noise on the baby monitor and I wake up to any, like I'm that mom. If I hear one noise, I am jumping too. So I heard a little noise. I jumped up awake. I look at the baby monitor. This young man has somehow got the electronic activity table over to the side of his crib and it's pressing buttons. Just pressing buttons. How'd you get that? First of all, how did it get next to you? Why is, why is it right up against your crib? Lights are going off, music is playing. He's having the time of his life. I don't even know how long he's been awake at this point. All I know is that he's just pressing away. I said, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yes, Bella, I'm a mom of one. Ara, welcome in. Girl, I'm driving the struggle bus monstrous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you're I hope you have a safe drive though. I just got chai tea on my way home and add a lot of espresso to it. Lindsay, I got my coffee. Listen, please tell me y'all got your cozy drinks. I got my coffee right here. This cup is probably about 25 years old. I literally brought it from my mom's old house. Here it is, making an appearance. Yes, a ghost, a disco, a disco and a ghost. I walked in at 3 a.m., I laid this man back down, covered with him a cover, threw the activity table to the side, gave him a look like, what do you think you're doing? Mwah, I love you, good night, and walked back out. But guess what he decided to do? He decided, well, as much as I would like to go to sleep, I think I'll stay up till 5 a.m. So from three to five, he was, and I'm not joking, y'all, 
he was screaming at the top of his lungs, just laughing and screaming. Had a whole party. <laughs> so this is me in bed. This is me fake sleeping in bed. So I'm exhausted. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm currently sick as hell, but I got my Wendy's Frosty. Yes! Nave, are you having it with fries? Please tell me you're having it with fries. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Stitch is my favorite Disney character. Oh, you're going to love this um, stream today because we're going to be seeing what Stitch has for us. So excited. Baby B Wilden, literally. How very toddler of Baby B. Exactly. The toddlering is toddlering, okay, at this point. Feb, hello, welcome in. What flavor Frosty asking the real questions over here? Hello, treasure them when they're little, they grow up so fast. I know, I love it and I know it's gonna go by so fast. But when I don't have my sleep, y'all, I wake up the next morning like a different person. I could barely function. Listen, Nuggets in the Frosty is so... Nuggets in the Frosty? Hmm, did he have a long nap yesterday? No, just his regular, he sleeps pretty much an hour and a half to two hours on his naps. So he just had a regular nap. I think that just somehow, either we just blanked it because we were tired and the activity table was that close to his crib where he could just grab it and pull it over the rest of the way or something paranormal happened. And he woke up, because he always wakes up every night and has like a little play fest, but he woke up and saw the activity table and just went to town. They were cold, but the burger was good though. Well, there's, a, there's one small win. Okay, you have chocolate, chocolate's good. Have a lot of health issues. I can't have kids, so sometimes it's kind of nice to hear how insane, but also completely normal. Oh, Cannon, I'm so sorry. But yes, it is It is literally every day is something different. Completely insane. There's never a dull moment. There's never quiet time. It's chaotic, to say the least. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> yes, I agree. My kids are 14, 8, and 6. Oh, Steph, that's so cute, though. Your kids are adorable, by the way. Adorable. Maybe th be throwing a rave at this point, at this point. Okay, so has everybody seen Disney Dreamlight Valley's update? I was in the process of doing my hair, which takes three hours. And they, not a, it's not an update. I guess it's just an addition, an add-on. If you guys are not following, or if you're not in my Discord or in the Dreamlight Valley Discord, um, there's actually a Festival of Foolish area. And there's a whole bunch of information in here. So apparently before the forgetting, and now that we have, you know, fixed up the forgetting situation. Steph, hello, bestie. Welcome in. Um, Crystal, thank you so much for five gifted. Crystal, you don't have to. Crystal, you know what? You've gifted enough memberships. You're probably resp responsible for like half the members here. I just want you to know. <laughs> Crystal, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Tati, Feb, um, I'm sorry, not Feb. Um, Mad Max, hello, by the way. Stephanie and Cristiano and Ashley. Congratulations, you guys. Welcome to the Little Brew Crew. Oh my gosh, welcome in. Enjoy your, enjoy your custom emojis and your private community posts. Welcome to the Little Good Brew Crew, friends. Can we show some love to Crystal? Hey guys, just lurking. Allie, lurk away. Thank you so much for hanging out. Want to donate while I donate while I can. Crystal, you are amazing. You are amazing. Thank you so much. If you guys are not subscribed to Crystal on YouTube, guys, Crystal is live streaming literally all the time. All the fun, cozy games. Make sure you guys get subscribed and show Crystal some love, please. We love Crystal. Crystal is absolutely amazing and a major support to my channel. So I just want you guys to know all about Crystal all the time all the time i'm just checking something real quick hello okay um mm, mm, mm. yeah okay yeah and by the way i'm gonna put it in chat so you guys can subscribe i spelled that i spelled that I spelled that so wrong. I am so sorry, Crystal. I told y'all I'm tired. I told y'all I am exhausted. Hi, Terry, by the way. <laughs> oh, maybe I did spell it wrong. I don't know. 
dramatic cries because I can't find it on the app store. Which one? OMG, is this a new emote? A mad coffee mug? No, Brooke, that one is re relatively new, but it's been a while f around for a little while. TJ, I don't know if I said hi, by the way. Um, okay, so we're gonna be playing through or checking out at least this festival of foolishness. It says, um, long before the forgetting, there was a festival dedicated to trickery and nonsense each spring. As you repelled the forgetting, memories of the festival of fool foolishness returned to a particular uh, Valley villagers, Donald Duck and Stitch, and they can't wait to take part in the lighthearted pranks on their friends. So what's interesting about this festival of foolishness, and that's like a tongue twister for me, but apparently you can play through multiple different dialogues, if I'm reading that correctly. Shauna, so good to see you. You're so welcome, Crystal. Um, So how to play, it's a text-based adventure available in English only right now. Um, throughout the story, you may run into redemption codes. We got to be sure to copy the redemption codes down to claim them later. So there will be a couple of different redemption codes that we can claim. And then um, uh, after you finish the story, you can start over. So you can go through it as many times and play through as many dialogues as you want. I believe. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. The story is best played in full screen on desktop computer. Uh, make sure that you're, you have inventory space before claiming your awards. Okay, so I am so excited. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm gonna get the game loaded up so we can get started and get into it. I am so excited. Um, I'm definitely playing Disney and chilling tonight. Yes, please join me. By the way, guys, please don't kill me, but I think I'm probably gonna end the stream around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight just because I am just completely exhausted and I still have so much to do for the wedding and the reception tomorrow. Cherry, hello, welcome in, Aaron. I saw them on a Facebook, I could post them in Discord. Which one? The festival is in Discord event and the official Disney, yeah, it's in the Disney Dreamlight Valley Discord. And it's not an in-game event for anyone that doesn't know. Yeah, it's not. I think it's just something that's going on from now until, did they, I think it was July, sometime in July. Wait, what happened to Steph? What happened, Steph, what happened with the house? Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, good, okay, you spoiled us with streams this week. Oh, you guys have spoiled me by hanging out with me for all these streams this week, okay? It's been enough streams. All right, let me get all set up. I'm ready. I am all ready. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, Steph, I hope everything's okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm excited. So we need to talk to Stitch and Donald Duck. It says the adventure will only be available from May 11th to June 9th. So make sure to take part in this limited time event. Yay! Hi, Lisa. Welcome in, house mom. Y'all were getting raided by the one and only vet. Vet, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Ooh, we got a vet raid. Can we get some raids in the chat, y'all? Ooh, ooh, ooh. My apartment alarm went off in the middle of the stream and I had to leave the apartment until we got all clear from the fire department. Not, they gonna, listen. I need a, I need a letter written in handwriting apology to you. Good Hopefully, it, was it just a drill? Cause my old apartment complex, you, people used to either pull the thing or it was just a drill and they wouldn't inform me when the drill was happening. And it'd be like 3 a.m. and the alarm would go off. I'd be like, oh, y'all are, y'all are really going crazy right now. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. Vet, thank you so much for the raid. How was Wildflowers? The breakdown. Hello. Welcome in. I'm so cranky. Steph, we're sending you hugs. I'm so sorry. Always have to support the lovely K. Oh, Vet. Thank you so much. You guys, if you're not already, please make sure you're subscribed to Vet. We have, we have completely convinced Vet to be a uh, cozy gamer. <laughs> We have transformed Vet into a cozy gamer, and Vet has been playing Wildflowers right now, which is so much fun. So if you guys have not checked out Vet's channel or caught a Wildflower stream yet, please make sure you do. 
that also does some um, Disney Dream Light Valley, among other cozy games. Could use a few more sleds around Mama's here. still in a lot of pain, but she's doing better today. She had her first op appointment. Nice, Lisa. Rose Thorn. Sometimes stupid kids like to play pranks and pull the fire alarm for laughs. Yeah, it's true. That's exactly what happens to me a lot of the time. All right. All right, I think that's all we need from here. Okay, Vet says he doesn't like Nutella. That's a lie. I refuse to believe that bit, that tidbit of information. I'm going to be honest with you, Vet. Okay? I, ref I refuse to believe that that's true. Nobody dislikes Nutella. Like, nobody. The only time you get a pass from disliking Nutella is if you're allergic to nuts at this point. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, you've actually never had Nutella. Okay, okay. Well, Vet, you got to try it. It's delicious. It's so good. I will literally stick a spoon in a Nutella jar and eat it like ice cream. That's where I'm at with it. <gasps> Crystal, you hate it? No, you don't. No, you don't. You're just joking. <laughs> TJ? Not TJ, too. I, I don't believe it to be true. I don't. You know what goes good with Nutella? Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't, it's not worth it. Don't say it. Okay? I am scarred by this business. <laughs> uh, obsessed with Nutella. Okay, we've got some Nutella lovers. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. <laughs> Can't do Nutella after seeing what's in it. Ban? Can I get some ban bananas in chat? Can I get some ban bananas in chat? Because please, please. Bananas do nothing but ruin the flavor of del delicious Nutella. It's true. Please. Thank you so much. Not TJ saying bananas and then <laughs> adding the bad bananas. <laughs> bananas don't do anything but ruin everything it touches at this point. I love Nutella. OMG, I just uh, thought of a new snack for you. Nutella and pineapple slices. Oh, Rose Thorn. That's the one right there, baby. That's the one right there. I already know that one's going to be good. I got to write it down. Hello? What, what is going on? Okay. Here we are. Let me see. I need to... I'm trying to find out where I have this written down there. Okay. Pineapple. Nutella. As a snack. Thank you so much. Um, Not all these things popping up on my computer. Can you not? Can you guys go away? Thanks. Nutella and pancakes all day. Perfect. I mean, how do you eat crepes if you don't like Nutella? Like Nutella and strawberry crepes? 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 Come on now. <gasps> Look at this fine specimen that we have here, friends. Oh, <laughs> I am winning at this game right now. I love Nutella and a good cup of coffee. Jasmine. I love that. Okay, banana bread is good. I will give you guys that. Banana and some desserts is okay. Look at Kay being Scrooge's favorite. Only for a day. Scrooge knows I'm tired and is trying to give me some energy. It's raining. Oh, I Welcome. love hazelnut. You know, my one of my favorite chocolates is um, the Ferrero Rocher. I think that's how you pronounce it. Kimberly, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, so we've got this little shelf. I cannot wait to add that into my house. We're going to go do that momentarily. Let's see what we have upstairs. Do I have this couch already? This is actually a really detailed couch. Like this actually looks like real leather. I already have one, but I'm just gonna buy it just cause. I already have that, I already have that, and I already have that. If I see this bed in the shop one more time, I might actually lose it. I might actually lose it. Oh, TJ, I did it again. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm going to be honest and I'm going to make the command right now because I just need to get my life together. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so on desktop, click on join next to subscribe. Then find the three setting dots. Click on that and then set the toggle to set toggle to the right. Okay. 
I'm re I'm literally gonna copy and paste yours, TJ. <laughs> okay, gift. That's right. I'm Mal. There we go. Shifter, demigod of the wind and sea, hero to all. Okay, confirm. All right, TJ, you should test it now. Let me know if it works. I figured it. I've done it. It's done now. I was not going to wait another second. Guys, if you're enjoying the stream, please don't forget to give the stream a thumbs up. Thank you guys for 61 likes. Thank you guys so much for the love so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so there's a couple... <gasps> What is the, the event ends in five days. Oh, you know what I should do? I'll make sure I edit it, but I'll make sure how to get gifted subs into there too. Yay, thank you, TJ. Um, I'm so happy I finally finished the recipes. Lane, you finished all the recipes? That's insane. I don't even think I have all the recipes. Chem convinced we were separated at birth. That's literally at birth. That's literally my favorite. Steph, we have just, we are just here. Twinning. Bestie. <laughs> um, okay. So we need to mine amethyst. We'll do a little bit of that today, too, because the star path ends in five days, and I refuse to be that the, that let that be the only thing that gets me. All right, check Scrooge's store. Where are my wings? Where are my wings, friends? Whose idea? Let's get our wings back on. And let's see about this event, this festival of foolishness event. Oh wait, Stitch might be asleep. Okay, Stitch is not asleep. Where is Stitch? He's at the restaurant? Okay, perfect. We gotta get Stitch before he goes to sleep. Don't forget to trade your tickets for Moonstone Soup. Yes, thank you so much. I made sure to do a lot of that already. Isn't there a recipe that's bugged? I don't know. Hi. Oh. Hello. Oh, he looks so cute. I need a stitch in real life. Um, I have something to give you. It says that this is new. Huh, that's weird. Hmm, what's on your mind? He he he, Stitch has ideas. New prank on Donald Duck. Hide squirrels in his hat or put spicy pepper in lunch. Wait, what? Dreamlight Fizz might be glitched. Okay. Hi, Kay. I've been playing my time at Sandrock all day. I'm in love with it. Probably going to watch stream and play it. Yay, famous. I'm so glad you've been loving um, my time at Sandrock. I'm hooked on that game right now. I am addicted, same as you. I am addicted, same as you. The festival is a Discord event. Wait. Is that what Little Flower was saying? It's a Discord event? Huh? Oh. Okay. Then you know what? Hold on. We're going to do this together. We're going to do this together right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, let's go with a uh, display. Do I have a display capture already? Okay. So if I do this, hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to figure some stuff out because we can do it today, right? I it was so lost. Not me. Not me. Okay, so y'all guide me. Now tell me if you can see. Hold on, let's see if this works. Okay, you guys can see the Discord now, right? Took three minutes, yes, this is a Discord event. I just got all the codes from groups I'm in. It's a text-based choose your own adventure story. It's very cute. This is just the beginning. Being Stitch. Oh, I'm salt. Can y'all hear that? I'm salty. It's not an in-game event because it's really cute. I this was so confusing then. Infinity stream. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the festival of foolishness. 
Uh, Stitch and Donald's Very Foolish Day. It's one of those days in Dreamlight Valley where everything is practically perfect. It's spring and all the flowers are in bloom. A rabbit dashes past your foot, hoping, hopping towards the meadow. You follow after it, looking out at all you've done to make your village perfect. Your crops are watering and thriving. There are no night thorns anywhere to be seen. The sun is shining. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. You hear the distant sounds of laughter and joy. In fact, you haven't even heard a single tantrum from Donald Duck all day. A perfect day like this... Makes you want to relax and enjoy it. Fills you with anxiety. Nothing can be this perfect for this long. Oof. What did you guys choose? Okay, so Monstrous. Basically, you go to, you join Disney Dreamlight Valley's Discord server. You can find the link to that on their Twitter. And then this is like a text thing that you can participate in on Twitter. Zoom in. Yes. Uh, how do I zoom in on a, on a, what's this thing called? How do I zoom in? Uh, I don't want to hit the wrong button. Was this a tweet from this morning? Yes. But you have to do it multiple times to get all the codes. Okay, hold on. I don't know how to zoom in on my um, on my desktop. I, I take that back. Anxiety. I'm gonna say it makes me just wanna relax and enjoy it because honestly, I think that that would be what I want. Whoa, okay. Makes you wanna relax and enjoy it. For once, you don't have to worry about forgetting or curses or dark magic or villagers disappearing into the here and there. And you're gonna be, you're going to sit back and rel relish the experience. Oh, blast it all. Your peaceful moment is interrupted by the sound of Merlin shouting. He rushes past you, grumbling and muttering to himself. <sighs> you suppose things can't be quiet and peaceful around here for too long. Why are they reading my life right now? Okay, I'm gonna have to control. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's try control plus. Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> I had no idea how to, I was scared to, cause if I hit certain buttons on my laptop, sometimes it'll just end stream, so. Thank you, Teddy. Okay, is this better? Can you guys see pretty good now? Or should we go in one more? Maybe one more. I've gotta join another Discord. It took me 20 minutes to get this community one. Okay. All right, so uh, this literally sounds like my personal life. Uh, you walk over to Merlin to see what the problem is. After a moment of hesitation, he whirls around and you realize that his beard is looking uh, quite glittery today. Very glittery, in fact. There are also bits of confetti and shiny stars stuck in there. Um, how did that happen? Did some sort of spell backfire? OMG, I love your... <laughs> the way I want to troll him with OMG, I love your new look. Carly, welcome in, welcome in. I want to troll him so bad with that. Um, or I want to say, did some kind of spell backfire? I'm going to say, OMG, I love your new look. OMG, I love your new look. It's not a fashion choice, Merlin snipes. It's a prank and not a very funny one. He shakes some glitter out of his beard, grumbling even louder. Someone left a large bucket of glitter strung up in the Forest of Valor. I was collecting dream shards for an experiment when the confounding thing fell on me. Why would anyone do that? I'm gonna say, why would anyone do that? Um, seems like the sort of mean trick to pull, you say, but it's not the kind of thing many of the villains would hear, would around here would try. Merlin messages the bridge of his, massages the bridge of his nose and continues, I'm afraid there can only be one explanation for this. He sighs, shaking loose one particularly annoying bit of glitter. The festival of foolishness has begun. Ooh, I like this. Whoever wrote this did a really good job. Carly, hello, by the way. I don't know if I said hi. I forgot already. My brain is working on 50%. Festival of what now? I'm gonna say, uh-oh, this sounds like trouble. You've summarized exactly right, Merlin says with a shake of his head. So what's this all about, you ask? I've never heard of this festival. Long ago before the forgetting, there was a festival dedicated to hijinks, tomfoolery, and general shenanigans each spring at this time. Merlin says with a deep sigh, I suppose, dear me, I suppose, I was hoping everyone had, well, forgotten it. But the moment the weather started to turn warmer, it seems everyone's memories of it came rushing back, and a few of the villagers are all too happy for an excuse to make things a little more ridiculous around here. <laughs> oh, come on, Merlin, it sounds like fun. 
Uh-oh, this sounds like it could get out of hand pretty quickly. I'm going to say it sounds like fun. Fun, Merlin says, exasperated. It's not fun. It's it's a colossal waste of time, a nuance, a distraction from the pursuit of knowledge. He runs his hand through his beard one last time, setting loose another burst of sparkly glitter. Ugh, when I find out who did this, I'll... I'll... Ugh. He gives up and whirls away, headed for the Dreamlight Library. You best watch out. You could be next. You look around and hear some squeals of laughter and surprise in the distance. <laughs> It seems everyone in Dreamlight Valley is getting some of the fun are getting in on some of the fun already. You decide to check on it and see how the festi festivities are going. Um, Anna and Olaf in the Forest of Valor, Moana and Mother Gothel in the Glade of Trust, Mirabelle and Minnie in the Peaceful Meadow, and Ariel and Wally on Dazzle Beach. Um, I feel like the the squeals of laughter would be Mirabelle and Minnie for some reason. I feel like they'd be like giggling at that. Merlin Matt. <laughs> Um, you find Mirabelle and Minnie in the Peaceful Meadow working on some sort of garden. Hola, Mirabelle says, chuckling with excitement. Minnie and I decided to team up for La Fiesta de la Torteria. Come see. We didn't <laughs> want to do anything that might be too mean. Steph, don't kill me about that. Don't, don't kill me, okay? I tried. I feel like Baby B listening to story time right now. This is exactly how I read to him. That's why. So this seems like a fun idea, Mirabeau adds. Go ahead and try one of your vegetables, one of our vegetables. Take a carrot, a tomato, a potato. Uh-uh, they're trying to get me, y'all. I'm not touching anything. Ha, Millerell laughs. I understand, but don't worry. Here, I'll show you. She pulls the carrot from the garden and holds it. You realize it's made up of paper mache. It looks almost real. You're glad you didn't try taking a bite out of it. It was so much fun to make... To make them, Minnie laughs, we have a lot of materials left over. Maybe you could use some of them. She hands you a crate of supplies. <gasps> okay, let me, where am I going to put this? Actually, I'm just going to take a screenshot. Oh, oh my God. Okay, that's so much fun. For crafty kit. Okay, so the code says for crafty kit. This makes me think that this is going to be some type of um, decor item that we're gonna get in the future. He's getting a head start on Pride Month with the glitter. <laughs> oh, you guys are so nice. I'm glad you find that relaxing, my reading. That would be a good stream story time with Kay. Listen, at this point, let's read a book. You guys all wanna read a book? All right. Well, that was great. All right, so if you guys have not done this, there's a total of nine codes, Lisa says. Okay, so there's nine codes. Apparently, you can go back through these as many times as you want. So I'm going to make sure that I do some more of these. Do you guys want to do another one or just get back into the game? We can play because we do need to do some stuff in the game too. We need to level up um, Nala and Simba some more. Finish off that last, um, that last duty. It's not finished yet. Oh, oh, I just saw the code. Ha, ah, keep going, you're not done yet. Okay, you take Minnie's gift and look back around the peaceful meadow. Um, as you walk back into the plaza, you spot a huge cardboard treasure chest plopped right down in the middle of the path. It looks just big enough for a couple of people to hide inside. Someone has posted a sign beside it that reads, do not open very powerful dark magic inside. From within, you can hear a sound of giggling and then someone yelling, what? Get off my foot. Another unmistakable voice cries out, Ikapukata. <laughs> Or Patuka. Um, as you step closer, you hear Stitch say, Acha Chapa. Uh, the treasure chest goes silent and both inhabitants shushing each other. Not knock the box over, not with my sweet baby inside. Open the box. You step up, open the box. The To absolutely no one's surprise, Stitch and Donald both shout, Boo! And leap out of the box at you. They're covered in dark purple streamers as if they were surrounded by swirling dark magic. Chica, Stitch laughs. Ha ha ha, D uh, Donald laughs. You were so scared. Was not, only a little bit. Nice job, good. I'm going to say was not. <laughs> was too, Stitch says. This is strange. You say, you two usually prank each other. What made you team up? Stitch explains, Stitch best pranker in the village. Donald's second best. Together, we better than best. Exactly, Donald says. Then he thinks about it for a moment. Wait, except for the part where you're the best pranker. I'm the best pranker. Whatever, Stitch replies. You see how we prank Merlin? We make him all shiny. 
You look at Stitch and Donald standing before you and your head is suddenly filled with one thought. They're gonna make the best pranking team in the Valley history. I'll help them. This is gonna be a disaster, they need my help. I'm gonna say this is gonna be a disaster, they need my help because obviously, <laughs> I'm the brains behind this operation. Someone watching the stream says they can't because it's private. It's definitely not private because if it was private, nobody could join. So that's weird. Finally got my Discord back, but I need to rejoin. Yes, Carly, join us. Can someone kindly explain to me where I find the code for Dreamlight Valley Discord uh, so I can do this tomorrow? I will post the code in the chat here. Just a second. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. What is this? Okay, uh, I gotta go to Dreamlight Valley. I did not realize this was an in Discord thing. Okay, hold on. This code should work. I'm about to type, I'm gonna put it in chat. All right, I'm gonna pin that to the top of the chat for anybody who wants to join the Disney Dreamlight Valley Discord. It's up there so you can participate in this event. Don't forget to participate too so you can get your codes. Sent you all the codes so when you decide to stop, you will have all of them. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, so if you just keep going, you'll get all nine codes? Or do you have to run through this whole scenario a couple of times? Thank you so much, Lisa, by the way. I appreciate that. This is gonna be a disaster. They need my help. Um, Stitch and Donald working together could end up being such a disaster that is that it will make you wish you were just dealing with the forgetting. Someone needs to make sure these two don't get into any trouble and that someone once again must be you. How about I come along and help you too? You have to do it a few times. Okay, got it. Yes, Stitch shrieks and now we can be even better team. With you around, we'll be unstoppable, Donald says. What next, Stitch ponders? What's the funniest prank? You think on Stitch's question for a moment before saying, something with socks, something with lamps, something with socks. Success! Another code, wonderful. Okay, a prank well done. Oh wait, I forgot to read one. I've got an idea, you offer Stitch. You're really confused everybody by stealing socks. Why don't we switch things up and give them too many socks? Yes, 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 Stitch shouts. Socks everywhere, but no pairs. Yeah, let's go find some socks, Donald shouts. You find as many socks as you can uh, can and start stuffling, stuffing? Stuffing them in mailboxes and storage containers. Soon, villagers can't open a fridge or look under a bed without finding socks, socks, socks. Oddly, whenever you look somewhere for, for socks, you find a pumpkin or two in the process. Hmm? Okay. After a few hours and more than a few pranks, you find yourself back in the peaceful meadow. That was pretty good, but if we're all gonna be remembered as the best prankers, Donald ponders, we have to do one really big prank. Yeah, yeah, Stitch laughs. Stitch, have an idea. Blow stuff with lasers. I'm sorry? Blow stuff up with lasers. Wow. Um, lasers, Donald says, with a note of exasperation. That's preposterous. The last thing we need around here is you blasting things with lasers. Lasers are fun, Stitch yells. Black. <laughs> Donald shows. <laughs> you need to suggest someone to prank before these two start fighting again, or worse, before they get a hold of a laser and blow up one of the floating islands in Dreamlight Valley. We definitely can't have that. What is even on those things anyway? But who should you prank? At just that moment, two potential prime pranking candidates go by. Ouch. Or uh, ooch. All this foolishness is bad for business, Scrooge McDuck mutters as he walks by you. As I always say, a confused mind never buys. If you can't a tell what you might get, then you're not likely to spend, are you? On the other side of the meadow, Ursula pops out of a pond. Oh my. Ugh, all this foolishness is interfering with my deal making. I'll be more than glad when this nonsense is finished. After a moment of hesitation, you say, hey, why don't we prank Ursula? I don't even have to think about it. Y'all gotta know. <laughs> 
Ursula, Stitch says, excited. Yes, Ursula, fun to make mad, like Gantu. Pranking Ursula, that's gonna be difficult, Donald says. Tricking people is what she does best, but I know we can do it. Stitch closes his eyes and furrows his brows and thinks really hard. How trick Ursula? Donald takes Stitch's face in his hand and shouts, think harder. Stitch suddenly raises his arms in triumph. Ooh, Stitch got it. Ursula make potions, yeah? We change potions to go boom. Uh, that sounds hilarious, count me in. Uh, absolutely. Uh, blowing Ursula up would be a dream of mine, actually. Uh, we gotta, we gotta pay her back for what she did to Ariel, let's be honest. You're right, Donald says. This is a great idea. Donald and Stitch run off towards Ursula's lair. You chase after them because somebody needs to make sure they don't end up with Ursula's garden or worse. You all tiptoe into Ursula's lair and find it mer mercifully empty. The sea witch is nowhere to be found. Here we go, Donald says, looking up at her shelves full of potion bottles. <laughs> She won't have a clue what happened. He and Stitch start swapping around the labels on each bottle. They pour out some, mix others up, and add a little glitter. You're amazed when nothing explodes. We're the best, Donald cheers. You all leave Ursula's lair. The explosion happens. About an hour later, you hear a loud kabam from the direction of Ursula's lamp. Not kabam. <laughs> Club lamb. <laughs> Stitch and Donald look at each other excitedly and rush over to see what happened. Ursula emerges glitter all over her face and edges of her hair lightly stinged, singed. She looks angry, even for Ursula. Yes! That makes me extremely happy. I think you guys know this. I think you guys know this. If I don't find out who did this soon, Ursula bellows as she races from one pond to the next, I'm going to turn everyone into this in this village into a sea slug. Uh-oh, Donald says. If feathers could go pale, you suspected he had gone pale right now. Ursula's so mad, Stitch says. It's not funny anymore. You have to find someone to make this up to Ursula. No! And we're not scared of Ursula. Before she turns the whole valley into a giant version of her garden. Latin Gaming! Hello! Welcome in. Build Ursula a new potions kit. Distract Ursula through flattery. I don't know which one to choose. Which one should I choose? I don't want to, I do not want to flatter Ursula at all. But also it's nice to make her kind of make her own potions kit. You know, it's fine. We're going to build, we're going to build Ursula a new potions kit. Okay, we need to get something together and make up for all the potions and ingredients that are covered in glitter, you say. You two go find some empty vials and some ingredients on the double. Donald and Stitch both rush off to gather things, banging into each other and squabbling a bit in the process. Soon they come back with a load of potions, ingredients, and a bunch of empty vials. I better bring this to Ursula, you say with a sigh, as you bundle up the vials, ingredients, and head off to find her. You find Ursula in the Forgotten Land, still sewing over her, stewing over her embarrassment. Ugh, what do you want? Come to gloat, have you? No, you say, I came here to apologize for the villagers who pranked you. You know who did this? She hisses between her gritted teeth. Tell me now, and maybe I'll spare the rest of the village instead of turning everyone into a sea slug. You hand her the clanking set of potion bottles. The villagers who pranked you, well, they want you to know they're really sorry. They didn't mean to turn out how, they didn't mean for it to turn out how it did. They just wanted you to feel included in the festivities. They wanted me to feel included, Ursula mutters, bewildered. Ursula considers the assortment of potion bottles. Hmm, Ursula says, reluctantly taking the gift. I suppose I accept so long as you make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Of course, Ursula, I'm really sorry this happened. I say and I mean it. Promise, I say with my fingers crossed behind my back. <laughs> fingers crossed behind my back. Obviously, hello? Hello? I don't wanna say sorry. I wanna cross my fingers behind my back. Ugh, of course, Ursula. Not them forcing me to say, apologize. You know what, at this point? Okay. Ursula's been a model community member in Dreamlight Valley. Well, except for temporarily turning a certain prince into a part of her garden and a few other tricky dealings. You prefer nobody to bother her again. Ursula swims off with a gift in her hand. Whew, Stitch says. Happy we not in Ursula's garden. 
Me too, Donald says. Not that I was scared of her, but it's good that you saw before I had to give Ursula a piece of my mind. Oh, please. Donald was terrified. Ashley, welcome in. Donald holds out a crate of supplies to you. We had some extra stuff we gathered up to replace those bottles. We broke. You can have them. Okay, so is this the end of it? Oh, a grand day of pranks is finally coming to an end. The sun will be setting soon. I've been asked to invite you three to a little celebration, Ursula says, smirking. You've proven yourselves to be among the finest tricksters in the valley. It's only right that you're rewarded. Reward, Stitch says, yeah. About time I get some appreciation around here, Donald says. Be in the plaza at sundown, Ursula says, and trust me, you won't want to be late. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Be in the plaza at sundown. Okay, she swims off and Donald and Stitch are celebrating, but it all seems a bit suspicious to you. Ursula inviting you to a celebration? You wonder if the pranksters are about to become the prankies. Stitch and Donald start practicing their acceptance speeches. You enter the plaza just in time. Uh, to see the perfect sunset and all the villagers gathered around to enjoy it. Olaf stands on stage at the center of the plaza. He's wearing a sash and looks excited to begin be taking part of the grand tradition. He hoists up a huge golden trophy. A banner above him reads, Annual Fooling Ceremony. Oh lord. Oh lord. The rest of the villagers are gathered around to watch you. Stitch and Donald march up on stage. Donald and Stitch are eager to get their prize. You can't help but notice a bit of twinkle in Merlin's eye as he looks at you all. Merlin nods at the trophy and begins to mutter, Higgitus figgitus under his breath. Looks like Merlin had just about enough of all the pranking around here, and he's ready to turn the tables on Stitch and Donald to teach him a lesson. Block the enchantment, add your own ma magic to make it stronger. What do we do? I don't know what to do. Oh no. Magic, add the magic. Okay, adding magic. You focus your dreamlight magic to add a little extra sparkler to Mer sparkle to Merlin's prank. Suddenly the trophy in Donald's and uh, Stitch's hands leaps to life. But that's not all. Thanks to your bit of magic, it sprouts two Nightthorn arms and starts waving them around. <laughs> The enchanted trophy rustles free of Donald's grass and begins running towards the Forest of Valor. Ah! Donald shouts, my trophy! Stitch wants trophy! Stitch yells as he leaps off the stage, barreling after it. I changed my mind, Merlin laughs, as Stitch and Donald chase after the trophy, stumbling and tripping over each other as they go. Perhaps the Festival of Foolishness is more fun than I thought. That is so cute! That is really so good. I love that! Okay, and so we can play it again. So you can get up to nine codes. The walk sounded perfect. Listen, I've got my practice on that. That is so good. Guys. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I think that is so cute. And the storytelling was like spot on. It's like, it really felt like reading a book. Okay, I can't wait. I'm going to actually play through the rest of the options off camera, but definitely, definitely do that. Okay, so can we redeem the codes now? Thank you, little flower. Did you guys put the spoiler tag on the front of the codes, by the way? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, little flower. All right, so we can redeem the codes. What to do first? Hmm. Uh, peppers go with pepper. Okay, yeah, go find him some pepper. Bye. Good. Thank you. All right, that, but how cute would that have been as like, you know how we had the Wally quest for Easter? Like how cute would it have been to like run through that quest with them? Okay. Yes, the codes have spoilers. Okay. Hold on. Where do we, it's in, okay, redemption code. Decent rewards for the small amount of time. Okay, I, I don't know why they made it seem like, cause they said it redeemed the codes at a later date. I don't know why they made it seem like you couldn't redeem them. I'm just gonna redeem a couple for right now. I won't do all of them, but just a couple. Can I get the link for the Discord, not the Dreamlight Valley one? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. 
So there's the link. That link is for my Discord. Ross, uh, thank you so much for one gifted membership. Aura, congratulations. And welcome to the Little Brew Group. Can we get some love in the chat for Ross? Aura, I'm so glad. I don't know if you prefer Aurora. Aura or Glitz, let me know. But welcome in, I hope you enjoy your custom emojis and your private committee pose. There's nine codes and all the rewards are pretty nice. Thank you, yeah, I'm probably not gonna put them all. Do you guys wanna see all nine codes on stream? I'm worried that it might be too much of a spoiler. So spoiler alert for anybody who wants to go through the Discord um, text event by themselves. I'm gonna do a couple though. For craft, for crafty kit. Okay, it'll be in my mailbox soon. Okay, do them all, cause, okay, okay, okay. All right, so in that case then, I'm gonna look here. All right, make sure you guys type them all in as you see them. For souvenir. Okay. For glitter. For glitter and gold. All right, it's fine. Okay, perfect. Also, the codes expire July 10th. Yes, they do. Yay, this is so much fun. This is why I love this game. Okay, I got the four crafty kit. Uh, I'm, I'm saying four, it's F-O-F, Lost Shard, Low Shard, Hello Shard. I want to know what the glitter code is. I'm curious. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be in my mailbox. Catch day. I'm still gonna go through all of the um, through all of the dialogue just because I think it's super cute. But I'm happy to have all of the codes. Code has been claimed. Okay. Welcome back, DJ. Make sure you have inventory space before you accept them in your mail. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Lava Ghost. I will make sure I I need to empty out my inventory too. Did I do four trophy already? I think so. So now this one is surprise kit. Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. This one is F O F log E M S. Ooh, look at us. We got our codes. And then I don't know if I did this one already, but we'll see. For success. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yay! Okay, let's go empty out our inventory. <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so excited. Savannah, hello, welcome in. Max, hello, my love. Welcome in, how are you? Lisa and, um, and Little Flower, thank you guys so much for posting the codes. That is so helpful. And again, if you guys do want to be a part of the Discord, I have it linked. Well, the dream, well, actually, I'll replace the link up top with my Discord for right now. So if you guys, I just put that in the wrong chat. <laughs> okay, Discord. All right, so I will, I'll pin that to the top of the chat. So you guys can join my Discord if you would like, and you can get all the codes there if you want as well. So we'll go ahead and replace the pin message. Yeah, so feel free to join the Discord if you guys haven't already. By the way, to all my trivia members, have you guys participated in today's trivia? If not, please don't forget to fill out your trivia questions. Don't forget, don't forget. All right, so let's head, let's go in here and empty out our inventory first. I have to take my first out of four tests for my teaching license Monday. I hate tests. Anyone have any tips? Max, don't overthink it. You know everything that you need to know. Don't stress yourself. Go in there and just do your best. Give it your all. 
I find that for, oh, and don't drink coffee before your test. That is like a really bad mistake that I usually make. If you drink coffee before your test, it gives you even worse anxiety. And the practice test was hard. Oh, I know. I know. I can only, I can't say like, don't be nervous because I know that it is going to be, it's going to be nerve wracking, but you got this. You studied, you've practiced, maybe do a little meditation, some calm yoga, do some breathing exercises to kind of like calm your nerves. What's meant to be will be, Max. You got this. You got this. Yeah, the thing about tests, that's why I don't really believe in tests because they, I just feel like, I don't feel like they're effective at being able to tell if you actually know the information, if that makes sense. Barzy, welcome in. How are you? Still trying to, <laughs> wait, what? I'm still trying to find the answer to the first question. Serena, if you're in your house, make sure you uh, chat with your teammates and check your pinned messages. A lot of the answers to some of the trivia questions are pinned in the house chat. I bought the practice test they offered when they signed up. Don't overdo the studying. Had to take certain ones a few times. Yeah, don't, I, I just feel like if you add the additional stress to yourself, then sometimes it can make it worse. Which maybe like is not great advice, but I know for me, test taking always gives me like major anxiety. And the more anxious I am, is the worse I usually like performed. Max, if anything, it gives you a better understanding of what your students are going through with testing too. It'll make you more empathetic for their own personal struggle struggles. All right, let's check out this item we got from Scrooge's shop too. I'm gonna put it in here because I love it. You got this, Max. Can we can we give Max some uplifting in the chat, y'all? Can we show Max some love? Tell Max she got this. You're smart. You're beautiful. You're perfect. You're going to go in there and absolutely smash the chest. And everything's going to be just fine. Yes, let's get some love. Next time we talk to Max, Max is going to be like, I pass. <laughs> Where's the shelf? Teresa. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for 10 gifted memberships. Lexis, Angela, Ashley, it's low. Oh my gosh, chat's moving so fast. <laughs> um, Tiffany, Marissa, welcome, welcome. AJ, Lisa, Laura, anybody else? And Sam, congratulations. Welcome to the Little Brew Crew. Hope you guys enjoy your custom emojis and your private community posts. Welcome in all my new friends. Teresa, thank you so, 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 so much. That is so extremely generous. I am so thankful. Welcome in our new friends. Oh, Max, I think it's really nice to see that there are other people who are going through the same thing too right now. That's so sweet. Thank you guys for all the love. Oh. Oh, Teresa, I love you too. Thank you so much. That is amazing, seriously. Thank you so, so, so much. And let me see where this, this shelf is at. It wouldn't be in decor. Why wouldn't it be in here? It's all worth it in the end for real. Yeah, I mean, is it, a lot of stuff like this is. Like, it's like trials and tribulations. Like, you go through it, you go through the biggest struggles, and once you come out on the other side, you're like, I did that. I really did that. Let's try wall. Should be on wall. Let me see. There it is. <gasps> it's so nice. I love it. Question is, do I want it? Or do I want it like here? Ooh, I think I like it right there. That's so cute. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That shelf can look good anywhere. We need to line. I wonder if you can butt up a couple of them like right next to each other. I bet that would look really, really good. I swear this kitchen is like one of my favorites. Oh, also I wanted to put something on the wall over here just because 
Not this turning into a decorating stream. But here we are. That's too big. Don't want that. I don't want the cabinets. The mirror's kind of nice. I did not mean to move that. Let's move the broom, maybe? Let me see. Horrible gamer! Hi, K in chat. Just woke up from a long needed nap. That's what I need is a nap. Very nice. Look at this. Okay, can we cook at this stove, by the way? Just curious. Okay, we can't do anything there. It's just for looks. Okay. All right, perfect. So let's run out. Let's go get Nala, Simba. Maybe, I don't know who, which one I want to do yet. I think we need to do Nala. Brenda, I can go, it can go above the fridge and the wall also. That's a good idea above the fridge. I like that idea. Let's see who's where right now. So Nala's level seven, Simba's level seven. I'm going to go with Simba because I really want that door. So let's go find Simba and ask him if he wants to hang out. Nala's napping as usual. She'll wake up soon. You guys, I am so thankful for y'all. Thank you so much for uplifting Max and sending all the positive vibes and great advice. You guys are amazing. Okay, where do you get your glasses? They're so cute. Thank you so much. I actually got these glasses a long time ago. <laughs> I got them from like the actual eye doctor place. I didn't order them from anywhere. Glad you're here. How's it going? Uh, let's hang hmm. out. We're not going to be doing anything that's going to significantly improve your... <laughs> our friendship at this point. Have some cheesecake since you all were talking about it last night. I, I literally left that stream craving cheesecake. I did eat some ice cream. Okay, let's see. Julia, hello. Welcome in. Thank you. Anything for the brew crew? Oh, Kimberly. Let's see what I can give him today. He wants some Kronk spinach puffs, steamed fugu, and orange flowers. Okay. Well, expensive taste today, it seems. I have some chocolate cake in the fridge, but I want ice cream. Chocolate cake sounds so good to me right now. So good. Oh my goodness, yes. Thank you guys so much for 100 likes on the stream. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That means so much to me, guys. Thank you so much. All right, where is he? Here, take your take your orange flowers. Uh, where are they? Right here. Oh, look at that, level eight. <laughs> cookie dough sounds really good. Okay, is it just me, or did you guys used to buy the like roll of cookie dough and eat it raw as kids? Like, I know you're not supposed to do that as a kid, but I definitely did that as a kid. Anybody else? Or is it just me? What is this? What was that? I've got a Biscoff ice cream bar. Where did I sell those at? Let's walk home. Let me find out. Never tried raw cookie dough? Oh my gosh. Raw cookie dough is literally the best. Oh, so good. I mean, you're playing Russian roulette, obviously, with whatever it is you can get sick from, from raw eggs or whatever's in it, but so good. So good. I love cookie dough ice cream, too. Biscoff ice cream with the Biscoff cookies. Did you know they have a Biscoff, like, butter? Did you guys know that? And crumble cookie, if y'all ever are at a crumble cookie and they're selling that Biscoff cookie... Get in. 10 out of 10. One of the best cookies that they have. Oh my gosh. They like, I don't know if they swirl the Biscoff butter into the cookie or what, but oh my God, it's so good. They make edible cookie dough without the eggs. Does it taste the same though? I used to have as a kid, but um, last month, nothing like that would never. Listen, I now I'm like more caught like conscious of it, but I definitely tore raw cookie dough up. We used to <laughs> we used to go to this like community swimming pool and the lifeguard always had raw cookie dough in the fridge. Don't ask me how we got back there or how we even knew, okay? I don't know. All I know is that my sister and I used to sneak back there and steal some of their raw cookie dough. 
And actually now it's kind of disgusting, but as a kid, we were very much so excited. <laughs> um, I saw something that said we've really never seen anyone get food poisoning from raw cookie dough or if society is just keeping us from living our best cookie dough life at this point. They're trying to keep us from living our cookie dough life. I haven't tried too many brands, but the brand at Walmart carries is good. Ooh, okay, I need to try it then. Ben and Jerry makes bags of cookie dough bites. The way I would always keep that on me. Mm, 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 mm. I still want to lick the spoon with bacon too. Yes. So we have this family recipe uh, for a cake called a Miracle Whip cake. It's a chocolate cake, but instead of eggs, you use Miracle Whip. And I know everybody's thinking that sounds disgusting, but it's one of the most um, perfect, nice, rich chocolate cakes you'll ever make. We usually make it for like every birthday. And yeah, so instead of like raw eggs, you just use mayo in the recipe. It's so good. And then the best part about it is that you can eat the batter. And the batter is delicious. My mom used to make it for like all the holidays and every birthday and she let us lick the spoons. It was my favorite, favorite part. She'd bring me, my brother, and my sister a whisk and like two spoons. <laughs> no, you can always substitute mayo for eggs. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. I mean, I know the mayo has eggs, but I didn't realize that that was like actually a thing. There have been a couple times where there's salmonella outbreaks, so it's a real thing that can happen. Yeah, that's true. It's true. You gotta be careful. You gotta, you're running a risk. Y'all know mayo has raw eggs in it. Don't deprive yourselves of raw cookie dough. Wait, mayo has raw egg in it? Is it is it um, cooked technically by like the acidity that's in the mayo though? Because then technically it would be cooked. But I don't know. My mind is blown right now. Mayo and chocolate cake. Yes! Yes, we use like, it's like a cup of mayo. And then you add it to all of your like wet ingredients and stuff with the vanilla. You mix that up and then you slowly mix in the flour. And then boom, bake it. And you've got the, the moistest chocolate cake ever. I got some help at Decom K, which is making me less scared of Crocs. Yay, NZ! Are you playing with a friend right now? Okay, we need to make the steamed fugu. I don't even know if I know that recipe, so that could be a problem. I did not know mayo had raw eggs in it. Okay. All right, but wh what type of mayo is y'all's favorite though? That's the real question. All right, I don't have this recipe. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go to community help in my discord, go to pins, and then go to the recipe that Lisa shared with us, the recipe book. Okay, eggplant puffs. We need the spinach puffs too, right? Zucchini puffs. There are so many different puffs in this game. Ghostly fish steak? Oh. Okay, Kronk spinach puffs are spinach. Hold on, I can't see the chat right now because I'm looking at this recipe. So if y'all are talking to me, one second. Wouldn't it be in vegetables? Yeah. Spinach, cheese, and canola. <gasps> Do I not have canola? Do I not have canola? I don't think I have. Oh, I do. Canola and cheese. All right, and then I need the steamed fish. Where is it? Steamed fugu. Okay, so let's go fugu. That's ankle fish. Do I have a fugu? Yes. Dang, I only have two fugu. <laughs> okay, so spices, uh, ginger, and then we need garlic. Actually sounds really tasty. Okay, what did I miss? Helmet? Y'all, tell me y'all not eating Hellman's mayo. Mayo instead of butter on grilled cheese. Oh, Teresa, that is the way to go. If you're not putting mayo on your grilled cheese, this dish looks very beautiful, by the way. Okay, sir, here are your items. I have something to give you. 
Y'all, Duke's mayo is hands down mm. the best mayo. Y'all talking about Hellman's. What is that? Ali Hellman's mayo. America Whip tastes like uh, salad, sour cream. Grew up on blue plate mayo. I haven't had that one before. Uh, who'd you learn that joke from? Some hyenas. Okay. Didn't mean to actually chat with you. And not that I don't want to chat, but I meant to give you something. I want sweets now. I cannot stand mayo on grilled treats. Little flower, come on. I like the mayo with avocado oil, but it's expensive. Anything with avocado oil is so expensive. All right, we need to check our mail too. I didn't I didn't forget. Garlic aioli on grilled cheese, oh my gosh. Have y'all tried making oh. your own garlic aioli? It's so easy and it's delicious. All right, so let's check what we got from all of our codes. Wow. Oh, ooh. Okay, so we got five clay, uh, five fabric, and five cotton. Five iron, five gold, and five tinkering parts. Ooh, 150 moonstones. I don't mind if I do. Uh, five night shard, or just five night of each type of night shard. Ooh, something ex unexpected happened. Yes. Is it because my inventory is full? Yes. Wow. Can you say how you make it? Yes. So, Spoonless, what I do is I chop up some garlic. Usually, like, one or two cloves, depending on how much you're making. And then I chop it up as fine as I can get it. And then I add salt. And I take the back of my knife. And I, like, mash it down until the garlic is like a paste. I add that to a bowl with a couple spoonfuls of mayo, however much you're making. And then I like to add salt, pepper maybe in a, even a little bit of garlic salt and some lemon. And then I just keep tasting it until it's as lemony as I want it. And there you go. It's delicious and it's so easy to make. And I love it with like fries or steak. Mm. So good. And I use Duke's mayo. I do not like Hellman's mayo. I used to actually, I survived off Hellman's mayo, but I never really liked how it tastes. Oh my gosh, this glitch is so annoying. Yeah, I had, I had room, but I didn't have enough room, obviously. Lime instead of lemon, try it. Okay, okay, okay. The lemon brings it together, yes. Are we, every stance gonna do this right now? I'm sorry, but I have to say that is extremely annoying. So annoying. Yeah, Dukes isn't everywhere, but there's some other regional mayo brands. Yeah, I'm sure there are probably other. I just don't like Hellman's. I just love sunny days. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Watch out. Watch out. Get out of my way. Let's go over here. We'll add all that stuff there. Let's go over here. Add all of our eggs. Anything that goes in there. Wait, the tinkering person go in the other box? Oh, I must have been out of tinkering parts. We don't want that. Okay. The stall really be bugging. Yeah, like lately it's just, sometimes I have to like actually log completely out of the game to and log back in for the stalls to work, which is not really, not great. Not great at all. Okay, I got my fish. Some more moonstones. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, they gave us all the resources. And some pumpkins. Which is a decent amount of money, if I do say so. Very nice. I am not mad at that. I'm not mad at those rewards. For a fun little dialogue to play through, I think that's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Ta -da. Y'all, please, please don't kill me because of my inventory, okay? I have to fix these storage boxes, I know. Okay? I know! It's bad business. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to go get the codes now. Yes, especially as just for the moonstones, at least. I mean, y'all know we need our moonstones. Also, is everybody looking forward to a new premium? Uh, shop new premium shop items 
because this premium shop was less than exciting, if I'm being honest. Did I get any sand? No? Okay. Well, I just sent my work laptop flying. Jay, how did you do that? Please tell me your work laptop is okay. I think it's gonna be repeats again, sadly. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, y'all talking, y'all talking some real foodie talk in the chat right now. It's making me very much so hungry. And I just ate, so. What's going on? Haley, you're missing one alien. Have you checked Buzz's RV? And eh, who needs a work laptop? <laughs> who needs one of those anyways? <laughs> yes, yeah, so excited for the new shop. The lackluster shop is uh, better for my Moonstone wallet. That's true. That's true. Gives you a little break. My father's a chef. I grew up cooking everything. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, y'all probably ate good all the time. Jealous. I love the princess shelf in the premium shop right now, though. They reference so many princesses, including uh, Raya. So I'm hoping they're all in the game. I love Raya. Love her. Have you had Filipino food? Um, I may have before, but I can't remember. Like, probably not consciously thinking about it, if I have had it, but would love to try some. I missed out on the cottage skin. I would like to get that. Okay, hear me out though. And Jazz brought this to my attention, guys. The cottage skin, I think they're gonna come out with a better one than the one that I have. And here's why I say that. I think because they specify purple, uh, I think it's like purple cottage because it has like a purple roof. Um, I think there are gonna be cottages that come out with different color roofs. Like I think they're, and I think in one of the trailers, Again, I think Jazz showed this to me. I think in one of the trailers, the cottage was had a brown roof and I wish I would have got that one. Well, I'm gonna be sad if that is actually the case. I don't know, but it's in one of the trailers. There's definitely a cottage with a brown roof instead of a purple roof. So I'm gonna be sick if that turns out to be true. Oh my gosh, I've got a lot of gold. Okay, I really want a pink cottage. Could you imagine a pink roof? I would literally die. Also, oh my gosh, you guys, if you are not on Twitter following Paleo Pines, y'all gotta get on Twitter and go follow them. They posted a chance for you to be able to um, choose the color of one of their dinosaurs in the game. So they give you all the step-by-step -step instructions, but basically you can pick a dinosaur that's gonna be in the game and they give you a full list of like pictures and that like what the dinosaur looks like. And um you'll be able to choose like the color you retweet the tweet and then say what color you want it to be and they're gonna pick a winner winner on the 14th of this month and basically a dino will be colored in your honor in their game which i think is so cute that could have been bella's cottage no face it's so good to see you welcome in I wish I could use all my house skins in different biomes. I like that idea. I think it would be cool to be able to apply house skins to um, other people's houses if we wanted to. Like other 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 villagers' houses. Like it'd be cool to use the boat house skin for Eric instead of maybe his house. Or maybe even upgrade Donald's boat. Mm -mm -mm. To be honest, I don't really like how the cottage looks. <gasps> I hope we get a different style cottage. I'm sure they're going to come out with plenty, plenty of house skins for sure. They just need to give us an option to switch colors like the house. Yeah. Vet is being quiet. Does Vet know something? Does Vet know something? Let's collect these flowers up here too while we're at it me rushing to Twitter. I'm telling you, I was like so excited. I think I, I think the short word for the bird that I chose was like Archie. It's going to be a rare bird in the game um, that you can find and basically tame or has a, have as a companion. And I would really love one of those because it's so cute and like a pastel pink. Oh, I would think that would be so cute. 
But I just think it's fun that they have little things that you can participate in. And also, like, to be able to be the person that chose the color of one of the dinos in the game would be really cool. He's usually so voiceful. He might be busy, maybe tired like us, just lurking away. That's okay. Abigail, hello, welcome in, how are you? Guys, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like the stream. Thank you guys so much for 108 likes on the stream. Y'all are amazing. Thank you on this dreary, tired stream. Your girl is getting through it though. I'd love to be able to decorate other homes, like Happy Home Paradise, yes. I mean, we could do the outside, but like decorating the inside could be cool too. I just need more biomes, yes. I am almost positive we're getting another biome this year. Almost positive. I totally forgot to make all of the egg extravaganza stuff. Archie is my dog's name. He's a blue Some healer. And he's in pterodactyl in a pterodactyl face. <laughs> oh, Archie is such a cute name. Do you know which character will come in June? I we don't. We don't yet. But I'm almost positive that in the next update, the next update is the Forgotten Lands, right? I think Fairy Godmother is coming. Because ain't nobody else coming to that pumpkin. It's gotta be her. Let's craft up some more. Here's what I'm gonna do. First, let's make all of the egg extravaganza event items because just to have those is good, I think. Egg over easy chair. You know, these could be good festival items too. What, what did I say? Did you get all the different color bunnies? Yes, I have the pink, yellow, and blue, I think. Oh. We need the blue eggs? <gasps> oh no. I want the I want the egg arch. Are we still finding blue eggs? I'm never gonna be able to make an egg arch if I don't find any more blue eggs. This is traumatizing at this point. My theory is that Maleficent is the reason for the night thorns. Ravens uh, in the Forgotten Lands is what she used to be a fairy before she vanished. Yes, Max, I've been hearing that theory and I actually really do agree. Plus the green fire is Maleficent too, right? The ravens are spot on. Like, I think you're right. I really do. Okay, the only problem is that we can't bring, or can we? Oh, it stops right there because of the beach. So that's fine, we'll just take that out. I do wish that we could fill this, fill that in a little bit better though. Maybe I'll pull it out from this side, yeah. A part of me almost wants to leave this on sand since we can't really round it out the way we would want to. Does that make sense? I'm gonna pull this in. And then remove this, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like maybe just do that. Yeah, and then just let me, let me pull that out like that. Pull this out a little bit. Not that far out though. Not that far out, baby. Bring this down. Huh. I don't know. If Maleficent isn't involved in the fire, I'm a riot. Plus, we have some Maleficent items too with the wings and the horns. Angela, congratulations on your gifted membership. 
I've always had a feeling about the Maleficent coming to the game at some point. I could totally see it, and I think she would make the perfect villain in the game, even though she's not really a villain. Rebecca, you can't picture her in the game? I could totally see it. She gives off the same energy as, like, Mother Gothel, kind of. So maybe we just do that. So there's like a pathway there. What we could do is kind of line this with flowers, but I don't know if we can put anything around the edge. Hmm, let me see. Let's see if we can do... What if we can do... Maybe a mixture of flowers and bushes, just so it doesn't look so like bare, <laughs> if that makes sense. Not y'all being roped into a decorating stream. You had no idea. Congratulations. Oh, well that's not gonna work because we can't fit like anything over there. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to have to figure something out about this area. But Sleeping Beauty is my fave. The animated Maleficent uh, is the evil of the evil queen. Talking OG, not the new live action. <laughs> Said there, that ain't nothing compared to the OG. Tinkerbell is much anticipated. And I would love Tiana because we could get the restaurant. And then I think someone even said it would be really cool to be able to change her back between like frog form too. <laughs> I'm really waiting for Peter Pan characters. I know, Skull Rock. Okay, but who is the princess racing to the valley though? That's what we need to know. I don't care for Alice in Wonderland. Am I mean? No, it's okay. Listen, we all can't like the same things all the time. TJ, you think it's Vanellope? I know everybody is leaning towards Vanellope because of the racing part, too. What if they're just trying to throw us off? What if they're just trying to throw us off? It could be that they're just trying to throw us off. I'm hoping for Belle or Cinderella. Cinderella or Belle, I'd be happy with. I'd be happy with Vanellope, too. Jess, hello! Currently hiding in a closet from a huge bug above my door. <gasps> My boyfriend doesn't come home till 10.30. What kind of bug is it, Jazz? I am so sorry. I, I totally feel your pain right now. I mean, I'm actually going to, I'm gonna put a bed down over this because I don't feel like filling all those holes back in. I don't feel like doing it. I just saw the shadow, IDK. The, if the bug is giving off of a shadow, um, stay where you are. <laughs> stay where you are. I just killed a flying bug in my room. Oh no, absolutely not. That This is, this is problematic. <laughs> is everybody okay? Jazz, I'm so sorry. Not you being held hostage right now. Racing could be a nod to Cinderella when she races away from the ball. This is true. This is true. Nice having so many friends here. Goofy, let me tell you something. If you don't get over to this stall so I can sell some stuff. <sighs> all right, let's harvest our pumpkins. I would just want all the characters. Give us all, give us all the characters now. My, I think the most exciting thing, other than having the character in the valley, obviously, is the fact that we get new items. Like, I live for, like, new clothing items and stuff. I just love that. I live in a rural area, the cat, cat, cicadas? I think it's cicadas, yeah. Are starting to come out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not messing with a cicada. I can tell you that right now. One thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with a cicada at all. Nope. Can't swing that one. I can't swing that one, friends. That is, those bugs are big and terrifying. 
Literally. Literally. <laughs> Jess, hello. What we up to in Dreamlight Valley today? We are working on leveling up Simba right now. And um, working on trying to get all of our amethysts too. Which is the last thing we need to complete in our star path. And then our star path will be done. I love the questing and the friendship items. The questing is my favorite part, you guys know. I love the questing so much. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, guys. Cicadas are so nasty. Not only are they nasty, but they leave behind their molted shell of their skin. Like, they molt, and they, like, do it attached to stuff. So, like, you'll come outside, and it'll just be, like, an empty shell of a bug on your staircase or something. It's like, ooh! Yeah, that's the thing. Like, right now, you can go outside and sit on your patio or go somewhere, and you don't have to worry about a bunch of bugs, like, swarming you. But that is all about to end. Like, June bugs creep me out. Oh, June bugs make me want to shed my skin. I can't stand it. Anyone to help me with, get my star path done so we can do it together? How many, I, how many things do you have left to do? Have you seen the mannequin thing they will add? Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay, so how excited are you guys about the mannequins? I love it because I do, I'm the type of person who like, I have a set couple of outfits that I like wear and I don't really stray from too many outfits. So being able to go back in and change your outfit quickly, I am super excited about. I would cry if I saw them. I do cry when I see them. They're that bad. That bad. Did I get all of the nodes in this area? I think so. Okay, so let's go back up. How many do we need? Oh, we only need like three more. Perfect. Perfection. I'm literally terrified of June bugs. Ooh, I know. Hello, flowers girl, by the way. Over I know. Why do they stick to everything? Their legs. Oh my gosh. Thinking about it right now just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Literally. I feel like one's on me right now. Like, they just, like, if they land on you, it's not like you can just knock them off. Like, you literally would have to go into a flailing fit. Let's talk to Buzz. I've been just ignoring Buzz right now. Spade Ranger, we've got another situation on our hands. This one's a code L5X. Plastic fingering and the garbage disposal. Child administered haircut to a doll. Pointy toy left on the floor in the hallway. Wandering extraterrestrial. <laughs> Precisely. You've got that handbook practically memorized, haven't you? Code L5X means we have toys where they shouldn't be. Some of the aliens are hiding in the villagers' houses. Uh-oh, I'm guessing I'll need to check for them. Precisely. The last thing we need is a villager stepping on one of them in the middle of the night. There's no telling which houses they may be hiding in today, so I recommend you keep an eye out while you uh, are on your regular rounds in the village. I'll be on alert as well. I'll let you know if I see it. I could have started that uh, quest a long time ago. <laughs> wow. Right now, I have all six slots open for a quest or a duty. Oh, I need 60 t tickets left. Okay, so you're you're a good ways in. Okay, I wanted to know your thoughts on Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my gosh. We had tons of them, left their skeletons everywhere and made a million holes in the ground. Oh, Danielle, y'all. Okay, so y'all got it bad. Girl, okay, you haven't got the aliens yet? I have it. I have it. I have literally continued to run past Buzz and ignore him. Um, but Teddy, yes, Tears of the Kingdom looks absolutely amazing. So I was lurking in Kato's stream earlier today. And y'all, that game is so good. Like, I think my favorite part so far is like all of the new in-game mechanics and also the floating islands. Like, it's just so cozy and beautiful. I love it. Yes, okay, so uh, now he's level 10. So that, I mean, level nine, that's good. To the kingdom I want to play, but I need to finish the first one. Listen, Rebecca, I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't even, I don't know. By the time I finish the first one, I think a year will have to go by. Quite literally. Like, there's so much to do in that game. How, how do you beat it? I literally have no time as it is. Palmetto bugs. Ooh! Also, another bug I can't stand is the ones with like 100 legs, like the centipedes. 
absolutely not. Okay, does your plant still have fleas? Barely. My plant has very little fleas right now. The fleas are slowly starting to wither away. So I really haven't seen but like one or two maybe floating around and they're starting to get desperate. Like I saw one upstairs trying to fly around the sink and I smashed it. But um, yeah, they're getting desperate looking for water sources anywhere that they can find it. And it's just ending in disaster for them, thankfully. Brings me lots of joy, I will tell you that. <laughs> bugs are yuck, all bugs need to die. <laughs> Listen, bugs are good for our ecosystem. I just want them to stay away from me. Yay! Um, excuse me, can I? Okay, we got one. Oh, we need 15 of these guys. Florida bugs are left next level. Everything in Florida is next level. Florida is like a mini Australia. You know what I mean? Like, why? Why is it like that? Oh, I know there's one in Buzz's RV. Let's go over there. Hello? Not me getting stuck. If bugs stay outside, I don't have a problem. Literally. I see one bug in my house, and I'm calling our uh, pest service immediately. Well, we were just out there yesterday. Come back out. Spray again. I don't know what you got to do, but I saw, I saw something. Okay? Florida swamp, and it's not afraid to... <laughs> <laughs> remind us <laughs> no literally All right, everyone. Let's enjoy ourselves a great day. at least this task only takes two to three days hi tiana by the way not only takes two to three days that's a long time let's go up here the gators can ring doorbells stop stop and climb can gators really climb fences I literally, I would think that's a joke, but I wouldn't put anything past an animal these days. Kitten! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for two months. So glad I've caught the stream. Thank you so much and welcome in. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. Teddy, what do you think of Tears of Kingdom? Or what are you guys' thoughts of Tears of Kingdom? Yes! We've done it, guys. Kato would be so proud of me. I have finished the entire star path with five days to spare. Let me get all of my moonstones. Moonstones. Yes! I'm rich! Yay! We did it! That is wonderful. I'm literally so, so happy. They can climb fences. All right, well... A uh, new fear unlocked. Not me thinking, oh, I'm safe. Gator can't get me. Psych. They can climb fences. If they can cli climb fences, like at this point, they can cook dinner too, so. <laughs> Time to go spin them? Yes. We're going to check out that new um, premium shop. See what they have now that I got some moonstones to spin. I was watching Pat play and he made some vehicles. Yes. Yeah, what you can do to create like different types of ways to like move around is really, really cool. Is this new? I feel like this is new or different. I feel weird being in the house alone with him, so I'm gonna leave. <laughs> yes, we did it. We finished the star path, y'all. I stay the hell away from canals and lakes once they've spotted an alligator in my community and I didn't go out for a week. Yeah, let the let the gator go do its own thing at this point. I'ma stay out your way, player. They're just they're just big and dangerous. If you're in Florida, put electric fences around your ponds. That'll keep that'll keep them out. That'll keep them out. That'll do it. Oh, I forgot. Hello? We need to talk to Nala about the new quest. Okay, Dot, those rifts are starting to cause more problems. I've done everything I can, but I need your help. On it, what do you need? There are a lot more of those odd fishing appearing, those odd fish appearing in the waters of the valley. It's getting so we can't catch anything else. But if someone tries to cook them, they'll just disappear. We can't let the pride go hungry. Um... I just hope I can catch something else too. Don't worry, I'll catch some of the fish for you. Thanks, Dot. I don't want anyone to panic. If we get fish for Moana, Remy, and Donald, that will help everyone. 
Moana's been trying to catch swordfish, but she hasn't had any luck. Since she goes out into the water, huh? Remy Cat wants crab for a meal he's making, and Donald really wants some tuna. I think he's gone past frustrated into a full-on temper tantrum. Why are Nala's eyes so red in here? Goodbye. As usual, lionesses do all the work. Oh, wow. Spicy. As usual, lionesses do all the work. They can swim in pools too. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I don't like that at all. I really don't. I really don't, if you ask me. All right, so let's see. Where can we find... Is it kingfish that we need? Dazzle Be Beach. Uh, we need tuna, which is Forgotten Lands of Glade of Trust, and then crab, which I think is Frosted Heights. Okay, perfect. That tree is so gorgeous. Gators are my neighbor. I live near a bayou in Louisiana. Oh my gosh. How casual that, that is said is crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. So we need to catch tuna. Let's see. Okay, have a good night. Have to head to bed. I have to be up at 4 a.m. Have a great stream. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for hanging out. And get some sleep, Teresa. Thank you so much for the gifted memberships today. And I hope you have a wonderful night. I really do appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Christian. Thanks for hanging out. I think you can use one of the ones out of your inventories for the quest, okay? Okay. Let's see if that is actually the case here. Just because I have... I think I have one of every one of those fish, so. I'm a professional, not a squid. Let's head over here and see, because I think I have all my fish in chests right now, so maybe we'll be able to do it that way. have some out here actually let's see let's see let's see which which storage chest is it is it this one no is it this one no is it this one yes oh perfect okay so crab okay it does it does work okay so crab we need tuna and swordfish let's check the in our house i think we have some too Night, everyone. Good vibes. And my arthritis is not being nice. Tell your arthritis I said cut it out <laughs> right now. Uh, and then let's go in here and see swordfish. Yay. Not me skipping the entire quest just because I had it in my inventory. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I'm literally looking at my bridesmaid chat right now. What do people need? What do people need? Take cake home? Okay. I want to take some cake home. That's what I know. All right. So let's uh, bring the swordfish to Moana, bring crab to Remy, and tuna to Donald. So let's go to Remy first. He's at home. Have you started the memory room yet? Oh my gosh, Jazz. I have started the memory room. I can't wait to show it to you. It looks so... Jazz, you would be so proud of me. You would literally be so proud. Teresa, have a great lurk. Excuse Thank you so me, much for I hanging out. Humans help. Here's your crabs. That sounds so bad. Hey, it's you. You caught some crabs. Oh, die. You don't know how much I needed this. Now that it's so hard to catch, seafood is all anybody wants at the restaurant. I'll try to talk them into a vegetable terrine or a souffle, but no. All they want is billabong, billabasi, or seafood platters. <laughs> We're doing everything we can to try and fix it. I know you are. It's just that it's pretty hard to make the bingabong soup with a fish that disappears right out of your hands. Hope to see you soon. Remy is struggling to serve the customers. Yes, you guys, if you're not subscribed to Jazz's channel, y'all need to get... Jazz is one of the best decorators I know, y'all. Y'all gotta make sure you're subscribed, playing Dreamlight Valley, Animal Crossing, Wildflowers, um, Hoko Life, all the good games. And has is on all the social platforms, too. Bing bong! <laughs> Listen, I can't pronounce that word to save my life. And as tired as I am right now, I am not even gonna try to fake like I 
could put up a fight and try to remember. So at this point, booyah bays. Bullet booyah bays. Honestly, bing bong soup sounds a lot more fun. <laughs> bing bong. All right, where's Moana at? She's at home. Mm -mm. Look at all this kingfish she has. Mm -mm -mm. Got me out here working for nothing. I'm gonna head out, okay? Had an early morning with mom, so I'm ready for some sleep. Lisa, I totally hey, understand. I use your help. Thank you so much for hanging out. Give your mom our love and get some rest tonight. And thank you for all your Hello. help with the codes too, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Thought you caught me some fish. That's amazing. I've had to go farther and further out to catch anything, but those creepy glowing fish with the bulging eyes, it reminds me of when the fish disappeared around Motini. Motuani? How did I pronounce? How was it pronounced in the movie? Matsunini. Matsuni? Matsuni. I had to leave my island <laughs> to fix it. I wonder if someone will have to voyage from the valley. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nala and I are going to fix this. Nala and I are doing our best, but it's not looking good. We're going to fix this. Well, if anyone can figure this out, it's you two. I just hope you figure it out soon. I really miss being able to fish. Aw. See you soon. Girl, we're trying to figure it out. Don't worry. Matsuini. Yeah, that's what... Anna, Torin, you guys got me. You good, Kate? Not at all. Ashley, not at all. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Am I good? I'm working on like 10% tonight. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's bad. The way that I still have so much to do in order to, because I am going to be literally out and about from 1 p.m. tomorrow till Sunday. So, yeah, I'm always been, I've always struggled with words, but when I'm real tired, it's all bad. All right, where is Donald? I think he's at his house. Thank you, Teddy. Oh! Oh, Donald ran out and said, baby, I need to talk to you right away. I need that tuna now. All right, let's give the items. I want to give up on the star pass. Don't do it, Torrin. You got this. You got this. Don't give up. Tuna, finally! I've been trying to catch some all day. But all I catch are horrible fish that glow. Not only that, but they wiggle right out of my hands and disappear. When I find whoever's doing this, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna fix this. Somebody better fix it. I can't do anything with disappearing fish. Wow, not you yelling at us. It's frustration, literally. Hey Dot, I didn't I actually didn't want to talk to you. Sorry. Okay, so let's go back and talk to Nala. Lydia, hello, welcome in. Which one are you working on currently? Where is Nala? Is she at home? Yep. We believe in you, Kay. Oh, Lava, thank you so much, by the way. I wouldn't, I couldn't make it through without y'all. Okay? I'm partially losing my mind, but it's fine. I feel really good. <laughs> uh, Ginger, hello. Recently, I found your channel, and I've been watching your old stream. So glad I can catch a live. Ginger, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us on a live. We are so glad to have you. Hello all, did everyone do the Discord code thing for free stuff? Luna, we did. Oh girl. Hello. Well, I did, I did part of it. I still need to finish the second run through of the options, I guess that is. Oh yeah, those dang anglerfish, oof. Yeah, the angler anglerfish was hard, the shrimp were harder for me. Donald, Moana, and Remy are so much happier now. But you can't fish for everyone, we need to solve this problem. My whiskers are twitching. I'm worried the rifts are going to get wider. Ursula mentioned that this happened before. Those lioness statues, they look just like you. You must be at the center of this somehow. Do you remember anything? Not much, but there is one thing I noticed. Uh -huh. What they're made of. There's something on the wall in Pride Rock that looks like it's made of the same thing. Simba thought you might call it a tablet. Uh -huh. I saw his paw prints on it and some other kind of symbols. Maybe it's writing some kind of instructions. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, we should investigate that tablet inside Pride Rock. Goodbye. Aren't we in Pride Rock? Is it this? Okay, yes. Oh, 
Oh, a memory. Okay, perfect. Oh, I spent way too much time getting shrimp. All right. Okay, that's a dream shard. Needs to be combined with something and a frozen, one of those frozen fish. And then it needs to come. We split a statue in half. What's with all the mm writings? We couldn't write, we couldn't write something else. Okay, so we need to c combine something to make an additional statue, it looks like. Maybe? Very interesting. I like the diagram though. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Hi. I remember now, a long time ago, the here and there started to leak into the valley. We worked with Merlin to do something involving the statues, but I still can't remember why they look like me. You're the protector of the village. It just makes sense. I'm not sure either. I guess we should go ask Merlin. Uh huh. I don't think that really matters. What matters right now is we fix the problem. Well, excuse the hell out of us. My goodness. Brittany! Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, Britt. Welcome in. Welcome in. It feels like we're playing Uncharted at this point. Same, I had nightmares with those shrimps. <laughs> they literally took so long. You know what took me longer no though? The Garnets. Why did it take me like two streams to get all the Garnets? I don't, I don't get it. That's six hours. I don't think it really matters. What matters right now is we fix this problem. In the memory, I think I saw how it all worked. It was an enchantment. Each lioness statue has an enchanted heart. Um, we need something magical from here, something from there, and something that spent time in both places. That makes sense, I guess. For something magical from here, I think we used dream shards before. And the fish are from the other side. We could catch those fish near the rifts. If we catch three fish, that should do it. But what should we get to complete the spell? Something that's been in both places. Many. I knew, I, my brain knew that before she said something. I just want y'all to know that. Britt, what you doing tonight, girl? The game knows what we're looking for. I know, they do. They make it much more difficult when a star path is out. Didn't you say that Minnie's been to the here and there? Maybe we should borrow something from Minnie. Great idea. idea. I'll check with her. I feel like there was something else we need to do. Like some kind of fourth ingredient. Aww. I wish I could remember. Don't worry, Nala. I'll gather everything we need. Maybe it'll come back to us. Thank you. Okay, so we need all the ingredients for this, uh, for this enchantment that we're going to do. It seems like we're gonna be without a star path for at least a month, I know. Okay, Jazz, let me take you back to the house so I can show you the memory room. It's like, I think hands down, one of my top three favorite rooms in the house right now. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Should I do the even more or just the regular potion? Wait, for what? Britt, you are in bed. Girl, I'm about to be in bed too. I need to be in bed too. I am tired. Um, I don't think it matters. I think they'll catch the same fish. It's just how long the potion lasts. So it depends on how much, how many of the fish that you need. That's the real question. All right, this is our memory room, y'all. You're welcome, Torin. Like, how beautiful is this in here? Hmm. Okay, then do the smaller potion, Torin. It'll catch all three angular fish really fast. Isn't it beautiful? I like, I really love it so much, honestly. I love it so much. It is, but he'll get me here by 1030. You guys are keeping me distracted. Jazz is still hiding from <laughs> Jazz, you're still hiding from that bug, huh? I don't blame you. I would hide as long as possible, too. All right, so let me see. Oh, yeah, let's do that one. I want to put Nala's up on the wall right now. Thank you, Valkyrie. Thank you so much. I am, like, obsessed with how it came out, to be honest. Okay, let's keep that on the wall for right now because we're working on this quest. It makes sense. It's really beautiful. I am really just so happy with how it turned out. I think the Tangled portrait is like perfect for up there. Also, maybe we can, we got that new door skin. I wonder how it would look. 
Oh. It's much taller. Can I just, can y'all just give me a regular door? Just give me a regular brown door. That's all I'm asking. I'm so glad you guys like it. The shadow was too big. I have a crippling fear of bugs. You and me both. I literally told Sean today there was a spider on the wall and he was like, kill it. I said, I'm so sorry, but that's, that's a man's job. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Listen, gender roles, usually not my thing, but I said, that's gonna have to be you, player. I can't, I can't swing that one. I'm not coming. I'm not getting anywhere close to it. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, if I was in the house alone, I just move out. I pack Beckham and I up. We just leave the house until he got back because I'm not, I'm not doing it. Right. Who decided green was a default color? I mean, at this point, like this, door, there's nothing really cute about this door. What was the thought? I don't mind a challenge, but sitting, spending six to eight hours on one task, that's a whole work day. I know, I know. They were they were difficult this round. They said, y'all not finna just blow through this star path. Am I the one who's the handler of spiders for my boyfriend? He's terrified of spiders. Oh, no face. That is a kind thing to do. I can tell you that. I wish we could walk through walls and go outside. Honestly, taking the doors is a step that I don't want to do. <laughs> I think my favorite part th about this room is these windows. Like the lighting that they let in is really just like so perfect. Yeah, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. I need to actually add another portrait above that door. But I think I didn't for some reason. I can't remember why that was. But yeah. Okay, guys. I think that's where we're going to leave it. We'll pick up next week with some more Disney Dreamlight Valley, as you guys know, because we need to finish out these quests. I love the frozen doors. Do I have those? I don't think I do. Oh, guys, I am so sorry to end the stream early. As much as I would love to continue a stream, I am tired. Tired, just exhausted. <laughs> I need to get some sleep. I'm going to have to pack a bag tomorrow. I feel like I just got back from packing a bag. There's just lots of things I need to do to be prepared for this entire weekend. Um, and so, yes. Ooh, is Kato streaming right now? Yes. I would love to raid Kato. Let's raid the queen. What is Kato doing tonight? Oh, some more Tears of the Kingdom too. Yes, please. Let's raid Kato. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nora is playing right now, too. And I haven't rated. I say Nora. Horrible Gaming is streaming right now, guys. Playing some Animal Crossing. Doing some. Um, it's a modern Japanese cherry blossom uh, build right now in Animal Crossing. Or you can watch some Tears of the Kingdom. I will leave it up to you guys. Let's do a poll on who you would like to raid tonight. Who to raid? Verbal Gaming, Animal Crossing New Horizons, or Kato. Okay, y'all let me know. I put up a poll. We'll raid whoever you guys want. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Yeah, so while we wait on whoever you guys want to raid, here's the thing. So this weekend, I'm probably going to be very much away from the computer. Um, again, tomorrow at one o'clock, I kind of get started with everything from helping my cousin prepare for the wedding, setting up the reception, doing the reception, and then we're up super early in the morning, Saturday all the way until night with the whole wedding and everything. So I'm gonna be away from my computer and phone. So if you guys are messaging me or a comment and I haven't got back to it um, quickly, then, um, it's probably because I am just busy with all the stuff going on. So I hope you guys don't, don't mind. Uh, yes, guys, vote, vote, vote on who we wanna raid. Oh, good night, Brittany. Get some sleep. Thank you so much for popping in and hanging out for a while. 
Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. So Monday, we well, Monday next week. Okay, remember, the 10K stream is next Saturday. So we'll probably stream Monday and Wednesday next week, and then I will probably skip the Friday to prepare for the Saturday stream. So that'll be the one for next weekend. Um, okay, so let's raid Kato, since that's who you guys want to raid. Watch some Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Oh, happy early Mother's Day. Yes, happy early Mother's Day to all of you guys, too. All of you moms out there. Y'all, make sure you show a mom in your life some love this weekend. Thank you guys so much for the Mother's Day wishes. I will definitely make sure to pop on on Sunday to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. So, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for an amazing week of streams. I've had so much fun hanging out. Thank you guys for all the love. I am just, I'm just so incredibly blessed by you guys. Thank you guys so, so, so much. So let me go ahead and put this redirect in really quickly so that we can rate our girl Kato. Redirect. Okay, there we go. Save. All right. Let's check out some Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for all the love on the stream. And until next time, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.